Hey guys, what's up? Jeremy LaFrance of Backstage Entertainment. We're sitting here with none other than Chris and Ben of Incubus. Guys, what's going on? Relaxing. Not much. Relaxing, <laughs> huh? Chilling yeah. in uh, Omaha. That's right, that's right. You guys, I mean, Omaha, I've been here before. We've played River Riot before. You look Long forward. time ago, right? Yeah, it's been like, what, three, four years, I think, now. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you're back, and everybody's excited. I've got a lot of great feedback about tonight. Were you guys anticipating coming tonight and headlining the show, or...? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, we knew about it for a yeah, while now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and um, we, we just did a couple of our own shows where it was just us playing, so we kind of, we got, um, it's like we have to play a lot of shows to keep the rust off. Right. And we're coming off of like a week or two home. Actually, it's been like a month or two, a month home, huh? Yeah, it's really. Like a month yeah. home, and we're kind of getting back in the swing of things. So we had a couple of our own shows, and now okay. we're ready for this. Is it, I mean, I'm sure it's just like riding a bike when you're getting back into the show groove. I mean, yeah. is that kind of what it's like after you take yeah. off for a month or so? It is. I mean, the first day or so, you're like, oh, what's going on? And then the second day, you're like, oh, yeah, I, this is this is what, this is how yeah. it goes. Yeah. Can you play this? What song yeah. is this again? That's right. I mean, you know, we, I think we have 104 songs or 108 songs that technically that we yeah. can play. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you go back in, you start playing songs that you haven't played in a few years. Right. What well, me at least, you know? Yeah. Like, How's that go? Exactly. That, well, that's another question we had um, is when you are having all these hits and have a lot of songs to choose from, if a fan were to come up to you and say, just a song title, would you guys remember your parts in the, in the song or would you have to go back oh, no. and listen to some? No, we remember it. You know, yeah. For yeah. me, when I say, how do you play that, it's more about where my knobs need to be set oh, or key yep. points I have to have up. It's not actually the physical playing. Yeah, you know, so you guys have a good memory when it comes to all the songs and everything, just because you guys have had so many hits. Yeah, so. I, I guess I guess it would have to be a good memory. I, know, I yeah. think my memory is horrible, but that is really? a lot of songs. <laughs> that is a lot of songs, man. I couldn't remember all those, I don't think. But, uh, well, let's talk about this. You guys uh, joined the band later on because it formed in 91. And I believe uh, Chrissy came in on 98. Yep. And then Ben also in 03. Coming into the band, what was the opportunity like when you guys got the news, like, hey, I want to play an Incubus? Was it pretty yeah. exciting for you guys? Yeah, for me it was exciting. Um, you know, I was living check to check and yep. struggling in Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, just ran, long story short, I got a phone call from the Incubus guys, and they were like, you know, we don't know if we're going to need a DJ, but we need one for this week run of shows. Yeah. You're going to get paid $500. And if you want, if, if it works out, maybe we'll go. A little bit longer. Really? But they weren't even sure they wanted a DJ in the band at the time. And, you know, that week turned into 300 shows that year. Really? <laughs> it was like, Jeez. see you later, gone. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it was cool. They were real cool. They were real open to what I had to say and all of my input. And, yeah. You know, for me, it was pretty, pretty dope. It was yeah. like all of a sudden my life just was on a path, you know, like this. And then also it just went. <laughs> So that five hundred dollars turned into a little more then, huh? Uh, hopefully, yeah. It's a little more. I got a check, but I think it's a little more. What about you, Ben? When when you came into the band, what was it like for you? I had already been I had been playing in a really successful band for Incubus. I played guitar for the Roots mm -hmm. and we had toured together and met the guys and, and got to know the guys touring. So um, at one point I just got a phone call from from Mike saying that uh, that Dirk was no longer in the band and come right. come hang out and see what's up. And it just ended up being a good fit and feeling right. You know? Yeah. And here we are, I guess, nine years later, and still, right. it still is cool. Yeah. Well, that's good. You guys have a good time doing what you love, I'm sure. So let's talk about this. We talked about all of the songs and all the hits that you guys have. Out of all of those, what would you say is the top few favorites for you guys that you like to play on stage or just like to listen to, things like that? Well, I don't listen to them too much. Yes, yeah, I hear the bands get tired of them. They don't want to listen to them on the road, or they're pretty much just yeah. in the studio it's and you kinda, play them. Huh? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. The only time I listen to our songs is when I have to learn a part that or, I forgot or something. Or when right. they're getting written. When they're when they're being written, it's it's that's the only music that gets listened to. Right. Yeah. Once it gets done, and once you start practicing it, and then you start playing it, and you play it a bunch of times, you kind of you move on to listening to other stuff. Yeah. You know, trying to get inspiration from what other people are doing, and things mm -hmm. like that. You know. So favorites, I don't know. Probably, I mean, I got a few, but yeah. just all you know, I could tell you a few. But if you ask me tomorrow, they'd probably be different. Yeah. You know? But I like playing uh, in the company of wolves. It's okay. a pretty cool song. I like playing the warmth. Uh, I like playing rogues. Uh, I actually like playing love hurts a lot. And you know, we can even go back further. I like playing green. I like playing glass. 
Mm-hmm. Right. You know, so it just depends on, you know, the day. Sometimes, you know, if we haven't played a song in a long time and, you know, something sparks at it, and I'm like, ah, oh, can we play this? Can we play this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Punch drunk. I like, I love playing punch drunk. Right. I don't play that that much out here in this situation. Right. You know, but but that's a really cool song to play too. Mm-hmm. For me. Right. Right. Uh, how about uh, you guys have a, your most recent album out? Is if if not now, when seventh studio album? Uh, do you guys feel like when you guys join the band, you guys have evolved pretty much as a band? Uh, in a big way, or I mean, what's kind of been that from the time you guys joined to now? How do you guys think that you've kind of progressed as a band? It's been crazy. It's, I mean, for me, it's just, just even thinking about nine years of time is kind of intense. Yeah. You know, having done one thing for nine years, it's going to become something entirely different on, on one end than it is on the other. So, that's amazing. We're older. We've learned a lot more about each other's people, about each other's musicians, and. Uh, it's still it's still as good it's still as working and I don't know with like specific things that evolve there's so many different things like I am older and balder and <laughs> and uh, I'm actually less angry than I was when I first joined the band I was think I was angry dude when I first joined the band I was, yeah, I was an angry man and we mellowed him out a little bit yeah, yeah. really yeah. Well, that's good yeah. that's good yeah. um, we also we went to Facebook and you know asked uh, our fans to you know say hey what would you like us to Asked you guys, and the main question was, how do you guys feel about your tour coming up with Lincoln Park? It's gonna be crazy. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we've been doing a bunch of interviews, you know, with mm-hmm. them. The other day, I went and, and uh, well, two days we were on Love Line. I was on Love Line with uh, Mike Shinoda and Mikey uh, Einziger, and then the next day we did like four hours of press straight like really? back to back to back and just hanging out and talking with them it's kind of crazy because they're at the cycle you know we look at things as like a cycle a touring cycle a record cycle yep. whatever they're at the very beginning because they're just putting a record out right you know our record's been out by that time it'll be what, two years right you know? mm-hmm. and we're at the end of that so you so for us it's kind of more relaxed and and yeah. you know we're out there to play some shows and have, you know, have a lot of fun, you know, they're really promoting their stuff, so I think they're going to have a little more hectic schedule than us, oh, I bet. but, you know, I I think it's going to be a great tour, I think the two of us share a lot of the similar audience and fan base, Yeah. but at the same time, there's some over here that are just our fans that don't listen to Lincoln Park, and there's Lincoln Park fans that don't listen to us, Yeah. so if you get everybody in the same room, I think that, you know, they're going to come again and be like, wait a second, you know? That crossover. Yeah, why haven't I been listening to this band before, you know? So hopefully that's the case, you know? I think we'll have a lot of fun and uh, it's going to be a huge summer tour. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Lincoln Park and you guys are probably one of the hottest shows this summer, I think. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Well, guys, next part of the interview, we have our BSC box. We've had fans like Backstage Entertainment. You guys can do the same. Go like us, get questions in here for us to ask fans that we interview. So. Guys, like I told you too, it can be real serious to real crazy. So I'll let you guys each ahead, draw babe. one, and if you guys have an answer for each other, you can answer. Are these that. printed on like label maker labels? We laminated the question, so it's we're we're a big deal now. <laughs> it's, it's almost it looks like like almost a little like a little label maker. Yeah, almost deep in here. All right, what do we got? Mine is what has been your worst food experience? Being out on the road, you guys probably have to. You know, go out to eat quite a bit or just get stuff taken to you or brought to you. So what, what was you your question? I wasn't listening. I was reading mine. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your worst food experience? Hands down, uh, 2003, bef- right before I joined Incubus, I was in Philadelphia about to leave for tour with The Roots. And this was early, like January, maybe February of 2003. And a couple friends of mine in Philly went out, ate at the spot, had big veggie burger, which was delicious. Um, two days later, I was in Portland, and I got sick, and it was from the food. It was like some yeah. food poisoning. It took a couple days, and for the next like three days, I was just food poisoning. Just anyone that's had food poisoning knows it's just miserable. Right. Yeah. And we were playing shows, so I only had to like get that hour and a half a night, the two hours a night to yeah. be healthy. And the rest of the time, I was dying. And uh, to this day, Questlove, the drummer from the Roots, has video footage of me throwing up in the uh, Seattle airport, all over really? the place. Like, people everywhere at me, like, <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, that's, that's definitely, 
bad one. Yeah, that's the worst for me. I hate that. Okay, I got I got one of the most common questions asked. The only other one that would be more common is how long have you been growing your hair? <laughs> but uh, this one is if you could play or if you could open for any band, who would uh, be? Yeah, that's like one of our most common questions. And usually I say, "Does it dead or alive?" For now, it doesn't matter. I would say I would play. I would open for Bob Marley mm -hmm. because you know we can bring him back now with holograms. That's right. You can. And, Two you know, Bob's back now. <laughs> so it would be it would be us, Bob Marley, and then when Marley got done, it'd be a three band bill. Then me and him would go smoke a spliff together and we'd watch Hendrix. There you go. Mm. Yeah, you know that'd, be, that'd be quite a night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it would. Marley and Hendrix. Yep, that's Perfect. right. I'd go. All right. Yeah. I'd pay for that ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, here, I'll, I'll draw one more for both you guys. How about, then we'll get you on your way. Okay. Okay. Well, you kind of, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? That's kind of the same. That's about the same, way. yeah. Okay. You can open right down. Yeah. They did the top two, they dropped right back on. Ah, here's a good one. Okay, if you could be any movie character, who would you be? 007. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. I was going to say Terminator. Oh, mm. another good one. Yeah. Reasons for them? Just favorite movies? If you, if, if you don't know why I'd want to be 007, then I can't tell you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I don't know. Just Terminator. would be cool. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Maybe Predator. Yeah, you know, that's right. I, maybe actually, yeah, I'm gonna switch that. I think Predator. Predator. Be better okay. Than Terminator. There you go. Okay. Double Seven doesn't die in the end, so that's not <laughs> my choice. There you go. That's a good one. Well, guys, once again, we're sitting here with Ben and Chris of Incubus. Definitely go check them out if you haven't already. Probably been living under a rock, but go check out Incubus, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.